Hello and welcome, my dear students, to day 6 of 10 days of MSAT challenge. This is Ms. Ruchika from Mathematics Made Easy welcoming you to today's session. In today's session, we will be looking at a problem related to the concept of dilation. So let's see the problem for today. And before we start, a humble reminder, a kind request. If you've been watching my MSAT series and liking the questions and explanation given by me, do consider subscribing to the channel as it serves as a good motivation for me. Okay, so the question for today, line segment A prime B prime has end points A prime. 4 comma minus 2 b prime 16 comma 14 so i'm going to just highlight the important information as always and its image of a b and is the image of a b so that means a prime b prime is the image and a b is the original okay so that's very important to identify dilation factor of uh, 1 over 2 is given to you centered at origin. What is the length of AB? So you need to find the original uh, coordinates of A and B and then its length. Definitely we are going to use distance formula here. And in case you have forgotten distance formula, I will just be shortly giving you the formula. So don't you worry. Okay, so let's draw a rough diagram which is going to help us solve this problem in a much easier way. So first of all, the value of the constant of dilation represented by K is given to you 1 by 2, which is less than 1. So definitely this dilation is a reduction. That means the image will be smaller as compared to the original. So if the original, I'm just roughly drawing A and B, this is the original. We don't know the coordinates yet. We need to find them. So after the dilation has happened 1 by 2, the size will become less. It will reduce to half because 1 by 2. Okay, so A prime and B prime. Now A prime and B prime are given to you and K is also given to you. So finding uh, the coordinates of A and B is not at all difficult. And remember, A coordinate will be more than A prime. B coordinate will be more than B prime because it was more length. So I can write coordinates of A as uh, first, I'll take the coordinate of A prime. So A prime was 4 in the X coordinate minus 2 in the Y coordinate. So I multiply with 2 and I multiply with 2. So that will be A, um, the coordinates of A. Okay, so from A prime, you have got coordinates of A. And remember, A is bigger than A prime because it is a reduction. Let me write here, reduction. So what are the coordinates of A then? 8 comma minus 4. Similarly, coordinates of B will be, how much is B prime? 16 and 14. So 16 times 2, that is 32. And 14 times 2, that is 28. So we have got A and B. Now we need to find length. So we are going to go for distance formula. So what is distance formula? If you know A and B and you need to find the distance AB, you will subtract the x coordinate with x coordinate. So x coordinate bigger one is 32 minus 8 whole square plus 28 minus of minus 4. So it will become plus of 4 square. So how much is this? Let's subtract so 24 square plus 32 square. Uh, 24 multiplied with 24, that's 576. 32 multiplied with 32, that's 104. Add them both, and what you get is 1600. Now, square root of 1600 is plus minus 40, but because we are considering length or distance, it will be only 40. So, 40 units is the length of AB. That's your answer. So, A is the answer as you see the option. This was a question on dilation, uh, on reduction. You were given the constant of dilation, this k. If you have forgotten the name, I will just write for you. And we used it for solving the problem. Very, very easy. Now, if in case the k would be more than 1, then it will be expansion. So accordingly, your coordinates will be changed. 